Well, here it is, hay and straw. So what is the difference? Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. This time of year here in the fall uh, in Michigan or probably anywhere, I would assume, uh, we start to hear a lot about straw. Uh, we, we, we get our Thanksgiving decorations are starting to, to get put up and Halloween decorations and other things. And people are looking for straw for, for all kinds of different things. And so many times I hear people use the, the terms hay and straw interchangeably. Uh, hey, we need to get some. We we need to get some some hay for for this event or for this hay ride. You know, we have hay rides and things. And but actually, we don't use hay for hay rides. We use straw for hay rides. We use straw for decorations, and we use straw for most other things like that. So, what is the real difference? And what are the uses for hay? And what are the uses for straw? So, the first thing we'll talk about. The first one we'll talk about is straw. Straw is a uh, generally lighter in color, uh, depending on what it comes from, but straw is sourced from uh, the stalk of a grain. So generally, uh, this is, uh, I believe, wheat straw. This came from a, a farmer friend of mine. Uh, he has a couple wheat fields that he does. You could also get barley straw, um, oats, uh, or other things uh, in those families of, of, uh, of crops. So what is it? It is generally just the stalk. You know, we have these amber fields of grain that uh, we see all through the Midwest. So we have generally wheat is grown uh, most commonly around here anyway. In the, when it comes to harvest time, it turns a golden color. Basically it dies off and it turns into this, uh, this golden type color, yellow type color. So once it's ready for harvest, a combine will come by. It basically has uh, fingers like this and it will cut off the, the bottom of the, uh, the grain stalk and it will harvest the, the rest of the, the whole uh, stalk, stem, and the grain head it will go into the combine. It does some separating. It gets all of the, the wheat berries out of the, the head of the grain uh, or whatever it is, oats or barley or whatever it is. And it'll take all this, this part of it and it just dumps it out the back, usually in a row uh, called a wind row. And that will uh, get left out in the field and then all the grain will get hauled away on semi trucks and taken to the grain elevator and sold. And so what you're left with after that operation is straw. Uh, and this generally will lay out in the field and dry up. Um, a lot of times the combine will have a crimping process that will actually crush the stem of the, uh, the straw too. So it's actually uh, um, flattened it down. It helps it to dry a little bit quicker. And then you'll come back with a round baler, depending on your farm operation, or a square baler. And if you're gonna sell them as square bales and you will scoop the stuff up when it's dry and you will bale it into straw bales. So the, the uses for straw are, are many. Like straw is used all over the place. It's used in the landscape and construction world. Um, around the homestead, it's used generally for animal bedding. Uh, it works great for animal bedding. The reason is because of the straw properties of straw. So each one of these uh, stalks is hollow in the middle. When you get a bunch of this stuff laying on the ground, it actually is, is very fluffy um, because of all those little straws. And it, it keeps your, your animals, uh, you put a good layer of this on the ground, it keeps your animals off of the wet, moist ground. It creates a... Uh, of kind of a vapor um, uh, space where it actually insulates and keeps your, your animals dry. Um, it's great for that. Uh, and it's also great for uh, spreading out on freshly planted grass seed in, in muddy areas because it breaks down and it actually provides good uh, nutrients for your soil. And it also sticks to the ground. Once it gets wet, it kind of covers up and, and keeps the, the ground from eroding and things like that. Uh, raindrops and things from washing dirt away. It, it, uh, so it works great for in the landscape world. Also, our chickens absolutely love this stuff. So a lot of times I find some wheat berries left in here on these stalks and the chickens will come through and they'll sort through all that. Uh, we use it for their bedding sometimes and they, they love it. They'll spend hours searching through for those little, those little wheat, wheat seeds and, and they love them. So, so that is straw and that is what it's used for. Uh, of course, also Halloween and Thanksgiving decorations. What is better than a straw bale with some corn stalks tied together and a pumpkin sitting on top? You can't beat that for decoration, can you? All right, next we have our hay. Now hay is a very loosely used term, and so I'm not gonna even go into the, the specifics necessarily of what is in hay. Uh, I'll give you some generalities of what is in hay because it, it really varies. It varies from where it's harvested, uh, what animals you're 
intending to feed with it, how it's going to be sold or used around a farm. And so hay is a very loose term, but basically what hay is, it is a, uh, a, a bale of grasses or other types of uh, things. Uh, it could be alfalfa, it could be timothy, it could be uh, some type of uh, grain heads or orchard grasses or uh, broom grass or uh, all these different kinds of things. You can get mixtures of things. You can do alfalfa hay, pure alfalfa hay for certain animals, uh, for certain uses. You could do pure grass hay uh, for, for horses a lot of times is good. There's different types of hay because the first cutting of hay, that first growth in the spring on a hay field is really heavy in the grasses. And then the second and third cuttings, if you have alfalfa in there, the alfalfa kind of shoots up and it, and it uh, uh, grows a lot faster during dry times and, and later on in the year. Your second, third, and sometimes even fourth cuttings, you end up with a lot more alfalfa or other things in your hay. So it varies on when it's harvested also. So on our old farm, when we harvested our own hay, we had uh, we bought the house with planted hay fields. It was already planted with a hay mix. So you can go up to feed stores or seed stores and you can buy a hay, all these different kinds of hay mixture seeds. It's, you know, got a bunch of different stuff in it and you go out and you plant that and that's, that's what you have. Hay is food. This is an animal feed, generally baled in square bales like this or in round bales. Uh, round bales, generally uh, you'll see them wrapped up and sitting out in the fields. Those are generally used for cattle. Um, uh, some people will also get them for horses. There's lots of different opinions on whether that's good for horses or not, but uh, certainly round bales are used uh, for horses also. Um, square bales generally are used in the, for horses, uh, goats, small scale farmers, hobbyists, uh, homesteaders like, like us here. Uh, we'll, we'll go pick up 50 bales, 75 bales of, of hay, and that will be feed for our goats. And so that's what we use it for here. Hay can be eaten by pigs, goats, horses, cows, sheep, uh, llamas and all kinds of other things. <laughs> so any any type of animal like that that, that grazes on a field uh, can uh, can can you know, live well off of hay. Chickens will also love hay, so you can actually sprinkle some hay into your uh, chicken coop area if you have some, or or you can even buy some for chickens and sprinkle it in there every once in a while. There's also little seed heads on the different types of grasses and stuff, and so uh, lots of grasses are actually grains. Um, as well, and they have little seed seed heads on them, and so the chickens will pick through and they'll find lots of forage in that. But it doesn't work great for bedding. Because the grasses are, are flat bladed, they end up matting down very close to the, to the soil and they, they absorb a lot of moisture, and you don't end up getting a good bedding quality for a lot of hay. So you don't really want to use it for bedding. Both hay and straw are generally used the same equipment to, to process and bale them, and they're gonna be usually wound if they're used in any modern baler, they'll probably use some kind of a poly type of, of string, which is extremely strong. Um, I'm not a fan of it because it doesn't really break down and it's just trash when you're done with it. It has some uses, but uh, we used to bale our hay with sisal, which is a braided fiber that is actually compostable. Hay generally comes, it's ba the way that it's baled, the, the ram will, will ram in every cycle and it makes a flake. And so when you break apart hay or straw, but, but hay is, is a little better at tight, it, uh, it binds together in these flakes a little better, you'll end up with a flake. We used to feed our horses, that's how we would measure, you know, they would get three or four or five flakes of hay. And so it kind of comes apart in, in these, little, these little sections uh, like that. So that's just one way you can kind of take your hay apart and measure it and use it to feed animals. And for these guys, we actually have a little calf hut that we just moved around. So that was the old spot, and this is the new spot. And we'll come in here, and this will get uh, a nice, fresh, thick layer of straw. Uh, they'll actually try to eat some of this. <laughs> they they, uh, they like the little the little grain heads, too, that they can find, and, and some of the chaff in here. They'll kind of pick through this and nibble on it. But mainly, they'll just bed down in here all together and stay nice and warm. As soon as I left, they couldn't wait to get get in there and, and uh, pick through all that stuff. 
So hopefully you uh, uh, enjoyed learning a little bit about straw and hay. Uh, it's a topic of, uh, I know that as I grew up and, and learned the difference, I think a lot of people don't really maybe care to know or don't know the difference. And so they are very different things used for very different purposes. And so uh, if you're having a homestead or you're gonna have animals, you will probably need a little bit of both. Uh, if you have chickens, straw will probably be more useful for you as bedding and, and, uh, and other things. It's great in the compost pile after the chickens scratch through and use it as bedding, you know, to scoop that out. It, it, it pitch forks out really easily out of a chicken coop and then into the compost pile and it breaks down and makes the most beautiful uh, uh, garden soil. Uh, Straw can also be used, uh, you know, to, to overwinter, you know, certain plants, strawberries and other things. Uh, gardening, straw has huge, you know, benefits in the garden. You can use it to actually grow right in a straw bale. Uh, you can, as it breaks down, it actually provides nutrients for a plant. So tons of things you can do with, uh, with, these, with these products. Let me know what you guys think. Anything I left out, any great uses for straw or hay that, uh, that I didn't mention? I'd love to hear from you guys. Throw that stuff down below. Of course, hit thumbs up. We've got some great excited chickens. They're excited about straw too. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.